Hello Commanders, I'm Atlandish Pixel. During the Frontier Expo it was revealed that there will be many more ships arriving next year. There was no clarification on how many or when exactly they would drop, however two were shown off and one was teased. First up we have the Chieftain. This will be one of many Alliance vessels to be released next year. The Alliance have partnered with Lacon to produce this military ship as a counter for increasing danger of alien incursion. To me it feels like a pelican from the Halo universe with a atmospheric dropship style to it. Frontier only revealed this untextured render, which does reveal some potential hardpoint positions but there has been much speculation of the size of the ship, some people believing it to rival the size of the larger vessels. However here you can just see a chair of the cockpit which gives you a good idea of the scale. I think this is a medium sized ship, somewhere between the vulture and the dropship. There are what I believe to be four medium hardpoints on top, possibly with some hidden underneath. People on the forums have been speculating on it having a large amount of utility hardpoints to give it a unique utility role. It's going to be harder and harder for Frontier to produce ships with obvious roles, especially as more features and gameplay styles are implemented. Personally I'd like to see another ship with emphasis on speed, or at least an above average speed at a medium size, with decent armour, balanced with a modest internal setup, with a price point somewhere between that of the dropship and the gunship. The second reveal was the crate, an old fan favourite. This model is less finished than the chieftain so expect some changes. There's also been a lot of debate about the size of the ship too, which is probably due to it being a smaller ship in the older games. It's also worth mentioning that the crate features in the officially licensed Elite Dangerous RPG, however it is a different design, resembling the original. This design looks sleek and is probably a medium sized ship. What's interesting is that it seems to have three seats, also possibly four medium sized hardpoints. There's been speculation that the two hardpoints on top might be large. But I'm not sure. Also this is a work in progress, so you have to consider that the scale might not be totally correct. Again, I'd love to see an emphasis on speed. I can definitely see this being a sort of size upgrade to the Cobra Mark III, with slightly less speed and boost capacity, and with a low to average cargo capacity at a price point of, let's guess, 14 million. If it has two large hardpoints, however, I would say the price is probably a bit higher than that. Overall it looks like it will be fun to fly, and potentially a good vessel for piracy. The teaser video for the future of the 2.4 update also contains a clip of the Type 10 Defender, which presumably means we should expect to see this in-game before Christmas. It's obvious that this shares aspects of the design of the Type 9. Major visible changes include additional engines. Now this suggests faster speed and boost stats, or perhaps this is to counter a larger tonnage vessel with more armour. This ship needs to play an entirely different role to justify existing, so I don't see people using this instead of the Type 9 for basic trading. I can foresee a reduction in optional internals, with better shield capacity and an increased hardpoint selection, perhaps with some large hardpoints at least. However, currently only Class 2 anti-Thargoid weapons are being sold, so in theory if this ship is a response to the increasing alien threat, perhaps we'll only see additional hardpoints of this size instead. I think for flexibility it won't though. That's it for now Commanders, in the next video I will go into the 2.4 teaser and analyse some of the footage we've seen in that. There's also been some discoveries made in relation to that teaser in games, so we'll mention those as well. Until then, I'll see you in the black.